Well, time now for this week's Focus 50 Plus, and we're continuing our Entrepreneur After 50 series. Dr. George Schofield is here, and we have had a lot to talk about. This is a multifaceted topic. Absolutely. <laughs> so I because, think, oh, I'm sorry, go uh, ahead. We, we identified 12 key indicators, yeah. and we're going through them, and we will wrap them up and bring them all back together at the end of this series for our viewers. All right, well, maybe we should do a quick little recap of what we touched on last week. Okay, where we're at. so what we really talked about was planning and finance last week. Mm -hmm. It's really, you have to have a plan, but success is you adapt and the plan adapts as you go along because if you expect the plan not to change, then you shouldn't be in that business. <laughs> Very good. And the financing is really, really important uh -huh. because you need to know not only through your eyes but through the eyes of an independent professional whether or not you're making wise financing choices. Okay. So that said, today we're going to, we're going to talk about the, uh, the, the offering, offering in the workplace mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about the marketplace itself. So tell me about the offering. What is meant by the offering? Well, the offering is not just what you're selling. It's why people come to you to buy it. Mm -hmm. So I'd give you two examples. If you go to get a manicure or a pedicure, it's possible you just go to get the manicure or the pedicure. It also may be that you're having a conversation with the person who's doing your hair or doing your nails yeah. or, <laughs> or, or, or whatever. And that's really part of the offering. Really? It's the comfort, it's the environment, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the regularity, it's the conversation. And I have a personal story. I went to my physician who said hello to me and then sat down diagonally from me and began uh, entering information into a laptop as we had a conversation. He never looked at me again. Oh. So yeah. it's not that he's not a good physician, because mm -hmm. he's a very good physician. But I realized uh, his offering includes the patients being seen, and I didn't feel seen. Mm -hmm. So I didn't just want my physician to be a great physician. Right. I wanted him to actually see me right. in those few minutes that we had and together. Be present with you right. in that moment. Right. Okay, so we've talked about that now. What about some common traps in the marketplace? Well, the major trap in the marketplace is that you think you have the perfect thing and then the marketplace has moved. <laughs> okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not so, good. <laughs> so it happens in every in every industry, mm -hmm. the auto industry thinks that it has it all nailed down, and then boom, Apple announces that it's going to explore creating a car. We don't know what it's going to look like. We don't know what it's going to run on. Right. The perfect car by one of our major manufacturers may may not match what the marketplace wants by the time Apple gets gets out there. All right. Well, we again have a lot to build on next week. Real quickly, we what are we going to touch on? So next week we're going to talk on the last set of the last pair, excuse me, of the key indicators, and then we will pull it all. We'll pull it all together for people so that you have the entire list, and we'll we'll put them up on the screen behind me too. All right. Thanks so all much, right? George. We'll have a right. great week. Thank you. We'll be right back.